In this video, we'll answer a very, very interesting question. I've gotten this question so many times, especially during our seminars, but I think this is one of the first times that I'm gonna answer them in YouTube. So we're gonna talk about when is the best time to come in, when is the best time to transact, when is the best time within the day to buy and sell your stock. If you want to know more about that, then you have to, you know the drill, check this video out. Hi everyone, this is Marvin Germo. I'm a stock market trader, an investor, and one of my goals in life, one of my missions, and my heart really on why I do these videos is I want to create a framework where Filipinos get educated in terms of the stock market investing that the stock market and investing is not as hard as what most people think it is. So if you want to be updated on the latest videos that I create over this platform, super appreciate it if you could subscribe and smash the bell so you get updated every time new content about investing comes out because it's time that we change the narrative that Filipinos deserve better. Filipinos deserve to live a better life and investing is one of the ways for Filipinos to reach their goals of financial freedom. So stay till the end of the video. Hey guys, so I'm still here on my series where I've been answering the questions that you have been sending out via the YouTube comments. So if you guys have any other questions, just put them below and I'll try to answer them. And if I know that this is something that will benefit a lot of people, I'm going to make contents off of that as well. So this question is something that was sent uh, by Paolo Tin. So here's the question. I'll put again the graphics here. But what he's asking is this, Sir Marvin. Meron po ba kayong videos about what time of the day is the best time to buy stocks? And why sila nagko-close at yung time schedule nila? I hope makita mo to Sir Mars and more, more subs to come. So thank you so much. By the way, no, my goal, it's nice to have a lot of subscribers, but my ultimate goal is I want to create 10,000 videos. I don't know if someone ha has created a goal like that, but I'm going to push. I'm going to uh, focus on trying to do that and push that as well. Before I answer that question, uh, I want to read also this by... Paul Papska. Thank you, Sir Marvin. I'm a fan. Thank you. You're the greatest stock investor for Philippines. Thank you. So thank you for that. But let's go to the question of Paolo Tin. So uh, to answer his question, it's very, 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 very simple. There's actually no best time uh, to come in to be able to transact in the market. There's no, there's no specific time that this is the best time for you to come in. This is the best time for you to actually sell. There's no specific time where if at this specific time of the day all stocks are down and you can buy them cheap and at this time of the day all stocks are up and you can sell them high that does not happen because if that happens and if that's the common narrative then everyone would be doing that if everyone would be doing that buying at that exact time then here's the thing that that stock price won't be cheap anymore that price won't be low anymore the stocks at that particular particular point in time won't be down, it won't be low, it won't, you won't be able to get it at the price that you want it to be. In the same way, if everyone wants to sell at this particular time, if everyone sells at that time, then you won't be able to sell it at a very, very high price. So to answer your question, that does not exist. It does not happen that there's a specific time where the market is very, very low and that's the best time for you to come in. It does not happen also that that the that at a certain point in time, the stock market is high and that's the best time for you to sell. But what I want to share to you is this, and this could be some sort of your rule of thumb on how you can do this. Number one is never ever set the market as your parameter on what time you should actually do it. You should custom fit it based on your lifestyle. Meaning, if you're an employee and you're busy throughout the afternoon because most of your meetings are there, most of the hard parts of what you do is there then you have to trade and invest in the morning do not let the stock market destroy your lifestyle do not let the stock market destroy your other sources of earnings still do not let it destroy the way you live please remember this at the end of the day the stock market still an investment meaning it should be money working hard for you if you are the one slaving adjusting your time for the market then you're slaving for the market then it's not an investment then instead of it adding to you giving benefit to you instead of it working hard for you you're the one working hard for it and i refuse to let people uh to use this channel to let investments 
that kayo yung, kayo yung nagtatrabaho para sa investments. It should be the other way around. It should be the investments working hard for you. It should be the investments adding so much value to you. So if you're busy in the afternoon, log in in the morning. If you're busy in the morning, log in in the afternoon. If you can only check it uh, during your lunch. So if your lunch break is 12, have your lunch at 11.45, log in 15 minutes earlier, then make the train there. Or, as you all know, there's what you call GTC. GTC, uh, oh, no, 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 not, not GTC. GTC, by the way, for those who don't know what GTC means, GTC allows you to put in an order, tama naman, GTC allows you to put in an order that if you cannot log in within the week, you can still have your trade done. Meaning, you want to buy a certain stock, stock ayala lang say at 40 pesos per share so you put it in there but the, the price currently now is 40 point sabi na 40 point 30 it's not yet at 40 you can put gtc so that the, on wednesday or on thursday or on friday should it hit that price point you get matched without you physically logging in for you to be able to do it so good till cancel means that until you cancel that that position until you cancel that trade uh, it will still be there, it will still be lodged there that at a certain point in time when an order gets hit at that particular point in time, you get you get your stock. So that's what I'm telling you that if you're busy, it's, it still allows you to be able to trade, it still allows you to be able to uh, conduct and be able to buy and sell off the market. So another one that I'd like to mention is there are, there's something that you call off-hours orders. Off-hours orders allow you that this is also applicable if you're an OFW that live in a different time zone. You have to understand this that I, I know half of you guys are not living in the Philippines that if you live in London, it's an eight-hour time difference. If it's an eight-hour time difference, it means that at, when the market's open at 9.30, it's 1.30 a.m. and it would be harder for you to be able to, to transact. And when the markets close at 3.30 p.m., it's around 7.30 a.m. and some might not be awake at that time yet. So what I want to submit to you is you can do an off-hours order while the market is closed. You can place the order and when the market gets open, your order is automatically lined up already at the specific stock, the specific uh, position size that you want and the price that you want it to be on. So those are ways for you to go around it that it doesn't have to be at any specific point in time for you to come in and by the way if you're from london i will be there this april 17 and 18 for stock smarts london we're gonna do technical and fun just technical analysis there uh on those sessions as well so i hope for you for you for most of you from london that want to attend and want to learn about trading and investing in the markets with confidence i i want to share all that i know so that you guys benefit from it and for those who want to learn from my other sessions in other countries february taiwan march manila april london may singapore uh, may doha qatar june auckland new zealand july sydney australia november tokyo du tokyo japan and dubai uae and online courses are also in the description below and for those who want to order my books all of them also are in the description below as well uh, aside from offline orders aside from gdc aside from logging in based on how uh, your time frame Another thing that I'd like to tell you is this. If, for example, uh, you have a support at 10 and the stock bounced at support at 10 already and then you logged in at that very moment in time, you logged in at 11.15 a.m. and you saw it bounce from support, you, you transact already, you buy already. What's more important is you following what your buy indicators are telling you as compared to you timing when is the best time to actually do it because that best time actually does not exist. So what does that mean also? That if you're if your if your buy signal is 10 pesos and it bounces from 10 pesos, then you log it in the afternoon and you see it, hmm, in the afternoon it's 10 point zero four, meaning it's already bouncing, it's already above the 10 peso level, meaning you buy it. Or as you log you logged in, in the afternoon, your support is 10, the stock is at 9.98, meaning it's below the support, meaning you're not supposed to buy it. Then you just avoid and you wait and then you just log in again the next day to see what's gonna happen. So that's how you can actually do it. And here's the thing also, uh, this is just a rule of thumb. It's not something that happens all the time, but this is what I want to share with you also. In terms of time, normally the first hour, of trading in the markets, 9.30, 10.30, you can even lessen it the first 30 minutes. There's a lot of volatility there, but there's not a lot of volume, I repeat. First 30 minutes, first hour of trading, there's a lot of volatility, swings, 
or that's where you see it already some of the stocks start to jump but the volume is not there so as you all know for those who know what te what technical analysis is how it can help people uh, volume is very very important in terms of analysis especially if you want to trade using the charts using technical analysis as well in the last 30 minutes or you could peg it the last hour in the afternoon naman, vo volatility there are times that there's volatility but volume is stronger majority of institutions do it at the last portion last hour last few minutes of trading so that's what you can peg as some rules of thumb morning more volatility lesser volume afternoon uh larger volume that's where the, that's what either will push the stock higher or push the stock lower as well so i hope you guys got a lot from this again if you guys have any questions from all of the things that i'm talking about here put them in the comment section below and i'll try to make videos off of it because again that's all i want i just want you guys to be educated i just want to see more and more and more and more filipinos do well and i really sincerely hope that you guys do well i really sincerely hope that you guys do better than me because if more filipinos do well more filipinos do better then everyone else gets to uplift this economy and that's what we need we need more people who will just uh, create add and not just consume and spend we need people who will create and add value to the philippines so marvin Germo, i hope this video helps you trade well trade strong trade smart see you all again soon guys and god bless you all